That schedule? Yeah, me too. That's our boat. Yeah, go, go, go. The dogs are going bananas. <laughs> up, 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 check. Up, up. You can do it. Yeah, good boy. So today is a special day because we're going to the biggest attraction in probably the whole of Negros. We've been here almost a year and we haven't even visited yet. And that is, of course, Manhuyut. 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 I can't pronounce it. Manhuyut Sandbar. Manhuyut Sandbar. Yes. And uh, yesterday was a pretty big storm, and uh, weren't sure we we're gonna be able to go today. But I know in the Philippines, after a storm, it's always a clear sky. There's never a storm in a storm. So. It's looking good. We got a little bit of clouds. It's about 8 a.m. And then we'll see if we can uh, pop out the drone and give you guys that beautiful money shot of the sandbar because. Shelly, did you bring a uh, earplug? No, I did not. Embrace yourself. Jake, <laughs> boy! Hopefully we're able to release Jake. I want to see if, it, if it's uh, safe enough. Banana boat. Whoa, look at that bird. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Holy moly! I captured that on camera. Oh, cool. Rewind, slow motion. Whoa, look at that bird. Whoa! Oh.
Wow, that was spectacular dolphin show. And now we're entering the sand bar area. But first we of course got amazing corals here, but we're not gonna swim in. But it looks looks pretty good. Clear water. It was a little bit murky there because of the rain last night and yesterday. Now of course there wouldn't be a sandbar without corals, without parrotfish. Parrotfish is one of the fishes I never buy in the market because they are like one of the most important fish in the reef. They both clean the reef and they also create all the beautiful white sand beaches that you see in the Philippines. So I recommend staying away from that one to protect the gems of the country like here. If this doesn't feel like something out of a movie, then I don't know what it is. I was hoping to have a little bit more of sun, then it would be like super aqua blue. So on a perfect summer day, it gets even better than this. See if we can fly the drone, but unfortunately, I think it's high tide, Kuya. High tide? High tide, high tide, babe. Damn, crapper Roni. Good shot. Kamusta, brad? You have sea urchin? You want some sea urchin? Yep. Okay. I think we made a slight mistake going on a high tide. So uh, if you're ever coming here, make sure you check out the tides. Just uh, Google tides. Do my get there. And that should give you an indication what time of the day. It's low tide. Ah, dumb dumb. <laughs> But we're lucky because we've got sea urchins today. Hungry? I want to try. Oh, it's another boat. Paparazzi. Paparazzi. Second breakfast, sea urchins. This is a lot. So this is sea urchin. Very tasty. And first time I see this, like, a lot inside. Okay, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> oh my. Macaroni. First. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Tastes good. What tastes it? Tastes like eggs. Because it is. Fish eggs. Thank you, my turn. Mmm, tastes so good. So when we were kids, we ate a lot of this type of stuff, Viking stuff back home. Livers, eggs, fish eggs, a lot of fish eggs. I used to love like a, we get a whole pouch of them, like a whole bag, and then we boil them. So you eat like, almost like a sausage. So we cut, slice it, whole slice of eggs, and then we eat it. But this is a very unusual sight to see. No tourists except us. However, they were saying on the weekends there's a lot of local people that come over here. But once again, make sure it's uh, low tide when you arrive. It's a bit of a mistake by us. <laughs> wow, someone already started eating without me. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Okay, we got crabs, we got shrimps, we got rice, watermelon, and ista. What is this? Tuna? Yep. Looks like a tuna. Start with the crabs. You know how to do this? It's kind of soft. Here on the inside, 
open that, don't eat this part, but here's the good one. Cheers. Mm. Okay, the crab is really good. Yep. Let's try the uh, shrimp as well. Finger food. Amazing. Shrimp. Mm. And it's done. Jake, maybe I'll give you some fish. Yeah, That's it. Good. And the rice. We'll make a sauce in a second. Yeah. But so we're gonna enjoy this. Maybe we'll try to walk around if the tides go down. But if not, we'll just go back. It's been a fantastic day so far. Let me tell you. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Very Huh? Yes. Okay. Amazing. You wanna give the guys? Yeah, we'll yeah. give the. Ask him, ask him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice. So even though we're not jumping in, it's way too high, high tide right now. Just coming here for a day trip is so awesome. I love cruising. You know, quiet, smooth ride on the ocean. Stunning scenery, the dolphins, amazing food. Amazing food, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't get much better than that. The main attraction is the sandbar. And we couldn't even walk on it because it's way too high. That gives us the excuse to come back. So I always look at some negatives and try to turn them into positives. So the negative part, we couldn't see the sandbar. But the positive thing is we can come back to catch it. The only reason we're doing it now, we're in kind of a rush. We got to do a lot of things in the coming days, and we just don't know when we get another opportunity to come here. It reminds me when I was in Balabak. We have a good breakfast too, and now we have a good breakfast. Three fishes and crabs. Hands down, the best food here in Balabak by far on our island. Yeah, we kind of had a seafood breakfast, seafood lunch, seafood dinner. That was one of the best. <laughs> wow, <it's amazing. laughs> what what's the time? It's just only 8:30. It's 8:30? Yeah, 8 9. Where have we got? Oh my god. This is like our third breakfast. Yeah, sure. <laughs> amazing. Of course it's going to be beautiful like with the scenery in it. Like, oh. Yeah, sorry guys, we're not showing the beautiful area that much. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, that's such a huge mistake. You gotta come here on low tide. <laughs> <laughs> we, didn't, uh, we didn't check the high tide and low tide. The thing is, when we do scuba diving, I always check the tide. I follow some charts to track the current because at times, in some dive sites, we really have to monitor it because there's too much current. We can't even dive or film anything. Look at this, it's high tide. And last night, we are all prepared. We prepared all our uh, clothes for cinematic, flowy dress, and then slow motion slow shots. Slow motion shots. Draw shots. <laughs> <laughs> and that is just high tide. How like, can you run now? <laughs> how can we run on the set? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Imagine that. Last night we're just like, oh, we're gonna go sleep early, like 10 o'clock after I finished diving. I was we gonna... packed everything. I choose a good uh, shorts for Finn. <laughs> uh, Go, go, go! <laughs> Let's go, Jake! 